Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Happy birthday. If it is your birthday today, give a shout out in the chat or say something in the comments. Happy birthday to you. Um, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. And we're going to take a look at your messages, other and or more messages for September. If you want to get a personal reading with me, link in the description box. I am running a special discount for the month of September, so do go over and check that out. Um, you can get a next day reading. Okay, so you have kisses, you have talking, and you have seduction. Ooh, let's see. Can't pick it up. Hello. Okay. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love, going to be talking to someone who's interested in you, conversing more. Uh, a weighted message arrives for some of you, a text call, an email. And you also have seduction. Someone's going to be seducing you. Virgo, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. Yeah. Okay. It looks like somebody's going to be sending you a lot of kisses. Oh, yes. A lot of little kissy emojis through text or connecting with someone. Um, lots of messages coming through for you. Or a message you've been just waiting to hear from someone. Okay, so I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Hopefully it'll show up on the screen. <laughs> so let's take a look. All right, the past, you've got the chariot. So, all right, and the queen of cups. So let's see, things were progressing in the past, going a particular direction for you in the past. Um, some of you were moving away from your emotions in the past, just didn't want to deal with your feelings. For others, it might have been a, um, a water sign in your past. Um, where you guys ooh, were heading in a particular direction, or you were going, like it looked like movement. Let me just get another, or somebody came into your life, a water sign came into your life, okay, and something ended, there was a breakup in the past, okay, now you have the Hierophant, so, let's see, wow, oh my goodness, what's going on, okay, you've got Justice, the Nine of Cups, you have the, I can't see, Six of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. Okay, you have the Ten of Pentacles position of you. You've got the Page of Cups external to you. The Hermit and the outcome is Judgment. Wow. It looks to me like <laughs> the overall energy, I'm just going to say a lot of restriction. Okay, let me give my... Um, let me just give you a little more light here because I feel like that's not enough light. Well, that's a lot of light. Um, the overall energy is feeling mentally restricted or stuck. So you might be feeling that way now at this time. We're going into September. Um, really trying to have a fresh new start, put an end to something. Um, moving forward, having new growth, having new beginnings in your life. Um, there's definitely ideas and things that you want to do i see that but like i said the past energy definitely something some kind of an ending it's like a full stop it, it looks like things were heading in particular like going right along progressing nicely and then boom an argument or a separation divorce a breakup of some sort happened now you have the hierophant currently let me just get a clarifying card for this what's going on why is the hierophant here Okay. Oh, look, here's that King of Wands showing up in your reading yesterday. And I, and I also in the, in the um, OnlyFans reading, the King of Wands was there too. Aries Leo Sag. So, um, it looks like um, there's a fire sign swooping in while you're single. Yep. There's going to be communication with a fire sign in this month. I feel like it's just a continuation of the same message, but um Communication with a fire sign, talking, flirting with each other, um, all that energy is starting. There's, a, But this is somebody, I feel like it's a new love start here. Let's see what justice is. Okay. I can't believe all these major arcana showing up. All right. <laughs> um this um, flirting and all this, this fire sign is looking for a committed, they want something committed with you, right? They're looking for a committed relationship. This fire sign is not playing around, okay? Um, the challenge 
or the obstacle. Okay, they're just saying, I mean, this person, like, as far as marriage goes, that's what they want, but they don't want, um, they want something more of like a spiritual, they're spiritual. I feel like this person, <laughs> it's so weird, it's like, it's difficult for them to go against their, um, I feel like religious beliefs are their, uh, like maybe the way they were raised or something like that they have that background but i don't know why it's a challenge here there's something here about um i feel like they can't they can't do i'm hearing they can't do like a um like a church wedding you know what i mean like a chat like in a chapel it's got to be like in vegas or it's got to be in front of a judge or something like that it's a big decision or this is crazy. I mean, this person is just showing up out of the blue, I feel. Like, this is what this person wants to be married. So, you know, whatever you want is apparently not, <laughs> you don't get a say, I think. I mean, this person is very serious about this, is what I see. You're single. Something's ended from something in the past. But I kind of feel like this person, now they're just saying, well, they prefer to have something very formal and very like we got to walk down the aisle and it's got to be like a blessed kind of it, I'm picking up real strong religious kind of a wedding kind of thing okay so I just have to tell you that's where they're at but it's a challenge for them to just be like well I don't feel like it's going to be sacred if we just go in front of the judge or we go to Vegas this person holds like really high ideals for like the sacred union okay so weird I don't know maybe you understand this maybe you're already talking to this person I'm not sure but this is how they come in okay this is how they come in and what's driving this reading right now is this nine of cups energy this is all about happiness contentment and joy this is all about wishes coming true okay now some of you might you know want to have a very religious kind of ceremony or feel that you have to which is a strange message um and you might be the one who's kind of on the fence about doing it or kind of on the fence about not having it that way and like just doing a beach wedding of some sort i feel like this old reading is wedding vibes you went from a complete breakup and something being over <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> you're going to the chapel <laughs> already like there's what's going on there's like no this is just like black and white just like that okay um i feel like there's a decision that's gonna have to get ma get made so you might talk to this person and get into conversation with them in september and talk and this will be the top like the, the major conversation that you both have well like someone will say, well, if you if you did ever decide to get married, how would you how would you do it? And it could be, well, you know, I kind of want to be in a church. And then the other side could be, well, you know, I don't want to be in a church. I want to uh, be on the beach, be in the forest or be in a witch's cabin or something, you know, or witch's hut or something unique and creative. You know, there's there's a little bit of like, hmm, but a working out and a compromise for sure. So, you know, I mean, where's all the love that precipitates all of this i mean i feel like the month of of september is going to be a lot of communicating with this person you know um so like i said this person is serious i feel like they want to tie the knot like they don't want to be alone they they're not jumping around from relationship to relationship i don't see this person um wanting to play the field or like they're ready to meet if they find someone that's right for them and they're they're perfectly ready to work on a partnership and make something work so i feel like that's really good like there's th this person is not a commitment phobe at all at all okay even with the six of pentacles there they're very generous they're very giving charitable helpful i mean what does that mean for you virgo i mean I feel like you connect with this person and sparks begin to fly here with the Ace of Cups in September, like a brand new start, healing, healthy, emotional, um, 
like a, a wedding, a new relationship. It's all emo- It's all things that give that emotional fulfillment, all those things that happen. You know, the excitement, the refreshment, you know, with, even with this cup, this cup over spilling all this water, it's like your cup runneth over. There's all this water healing. Um, I want to say like, there's no more thirst. Like the thirst is gone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Your, your, your thirst will be, your thirst will be quenched by this new love. What? Virgo. Okay. So, and you know what, Virgo, why are you attracting this in September? Because look at you, you've, you've got your house in order. That's all I can say. The house of Virgo is in order, at least by the end of September, if anything, or by maybe your birthday, September 10th. And it's like making a commitment and decision to like really start intermingling or accepting someone who's serious, no longer chasing or going after people who are not looking for anything outside of what you want right but you're stable you're stable yeah I mean, you might not even feel like you are maybe this person sees that but they see it and and you know you're presenting this financially stable nice home or at least a place you can call home that's yours you know uh, family all around you leaving a legacy that kind of thing so, you know, Virgo, your advice, especially here with the Ten of Pentacles, is to stay in that energy. Keep your family close to you or whomever you call your family. Um, family is community. You know, um, those are the people that have your back, your soul tribe, your actual family, whomever. But this is an energy of like um, foundation, foundational, whatever that means for you. Um, I feel like this person... They're coming in with this page of cups. So they're being very sweet on you in September. Definitely. Now for some of you are getting an apology from Pisces. I will say that. Um, whether you want it or not. I see it coming in. Also from a Capricorn perhaps. But there's also a birthday wish. You're going to receive a birthday text, call, kiss, wish, message, gift, card. Whichever it might be. Some of you are getting, um, you're going to hear from someone who is very toxic as well. Doesn't mean it's a Capricorn, but um, you will, maybe it's someone from your past. It could be um, messaging you. Let me take a look here and see what this, okay. Really stressed. Whoa. <laughs> anxiety. This person's like full of anxiety and stress, nightmares. Hmm. That's an interesting twist. Plot twist. Let me see. Show Virgo more. Oh. That's weird. Queen of Wands is here. Hmm. Did you have a, um, a relationship with someone? Fire sign? Okay, they just said some of you are going to hear that there's a fire sign female um, who is drinking the fish juice. She's on the fish. She's back on the. She's back on the fish juice. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever the hell fish juice is, she's back on the fish juice. She's drinking again. Someone's drinking again. That's external to you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't intend to. It just went that way. Okay. There's a several different messages here, but I feel like this is coming from someone who's far away. Male, or, so it could be male or masculine or feminine energy. Um, there's also someone here who is messaging you. Um, they don't want to walk away or... They tell you that they're sorry. They're really stressed about how toxic they were in a relationship with you and their negative aspects and things that they've done. Um, they want to be able to give you that message so that they can move on with their life and so that you can move on with yours, really, which it looks like you're doing anyway. Um, but at the same time, they're still kind of like reaching out to you I have to say this, Virgo, they're like looking back one last time. They're getting, 
there's a past person here who wants to give it one more shot. Wants to give it one more try. One last, the old college try. One last try here with you. So I'm picking up Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so it's one of them. So looking at you here though, Virgo, <laughs> oh my goodness. These two situations are going to have you in hermit mode for sure. Like, oh shit. Thought I let go of the past. Thought that thing was over. And you say so you've got somebody new showing up here, right? New communication coming in, ace of swords. And then you've got someone who wants to... They're still, they're moving forward, but they can't fully let you go. They want to see if there's anything left to salvage with you. Okay. So, yeah, you've got Hermit. You're going to kind of just pull in a little bit. Um, there's one sense where I feel like you might be like, man, I just hope everybody will just leave me alone right now. <laughs> and then there's this other thing where I feel like, you kind of hope that you don't miss out on any kind of opportunities coming towards you. Oh my gosh, Virgo, this is insane. Give me a clarifying card for the Hermit. Oh shoot, you got the Death card. Okay, two major arcana. These are very opposing energies. One is being very still, and just going within deep reflection and the, uh, the death card is all about transformations, endings and new beginnings. So I kind of feel like you are going to be in lost in thought, whether to give someone new a chance or whether to um, give something that you thought ended a chance. Yeah, uh, they're not telling me what you to, to do, except the outcome here is judgment. So you might be reconciling. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, some of you could have a relationship. We've got the Hermit. You could have a relationship with another Virgo or a Scorpio. And there might be a decision. Either it's you and a Scorpio. Or if you have like Scorpio in your chart somewhere. And you're connecting with the Virgo. There is a decision between those two signs as well. But you've got judgment. Oh, looks like Virgo, you might actually reconcile with someone who wants to give a relationship another chance by the end of the month. Now, you can change that. You don't have to, but it does look like there is a possibility some of you might actually take a look and see what can be worked out. Hmm. I feel like some of you, something ended and you just set yourself free. And as you're free, you're not committed to anyone you um, do have another opportunity with someone new coming in. But for some of you, this may have just been where two people needed to cool off. You know what I mean? After, if there was an argument or someone moved out, left, moved away or something like that. But it looks like the past is returning. It is Mercury retrograde. So that can definitely happen here for some of you. You know, if, if it looks like, I'm just going to say, it looks like you're going to try and make something work or give one more chance to someone from the past. You might be seduced. You might get seduced. Why am I shuffling? I'm not asking. Give Virgo one more piece of advice. Oh. I gave you two. Oh, wow. You've got the sun. Okay. For some of you, this is specifically this reading for those on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Um, but your advice in general is do what's going to make you happy. Do what will make you ultimately happy. Don't do anything out of obligation. Don't do anything out of guilt. Only do what is going to bring you joy and happiness. That's your advice in this situation because it looks like you have two separate kind of things going on here. Do what's going to make you jump for joy. 
let me see what other messages you have i'm sorry you guys gonna be not be too long tonight okay you need to have boundaries firm boundaries essential message for september firm boundaries are needed now okay healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting yeah that's what i'm saying there was some kind of like something to the heart some kind of stab to the heart and this i don't know how far back that was it could have been three weeks it could have been three months three years um ago but it looks like there was boundaries put up especially so needing to have time to heal something after some kind of argument or split up or break up and some of you just decided you're going to just go date somebody else some of you decided to just go within and stay single for a while okay healing because that person was unavailable or unable to give you all you deserve so some of you just went into this like i'm just gonna take care of myself oh and for others there was an interference third party there was a external party intruding on the relationship it might not have been an, it could have been infidelity for others it was other people places or things but all of it was meant to teach you some type of spiritual lesson while you were in this healing mode some of you might not even take the offer uh, i don't know virgo it looks kind of sketch yeah integrity does the situation align with your morals and values you know because i feel like somebody's coming in in september to that will it looks like align possibly with what you're seeking stability uh, a long-term committed relationship but is this the person that you love you know is it gonna is it gonna make you happy to settle with someone where it's like a business kind of thing and everything works out and it's just great and you can have a long-term commitment but your your passions and your heart i feel like you're i feel virgo like you you, you want to follow your heart more than your head you you want to feel those passions and that love and that excitement and butterflies every time you see that person rather than settle down with someone just to have the long-term commitment it's a little bit confusing you know i mean it could be could be the new person that brings that passion it is a fire sign that brings that passion which is something that you want yeah it's it's a lot confusing here because i'm not really sure how you felt about the person in the past they're not really but if your heart was broken um then you must have loved them so it's like tempting i feel like there's some temptation happening here what do you do <laughs> do you go with the one who loves you or do you go with the one you love and that's a personal decision everybody says well you should do this or you should do that see do you or do you go with the stability you know well you should go with the one who loves you versus the one you love and you know everybody has it's a it's unique to everyone so you know and i'm certainly not telling you what to do um but based on the cards and the outcome it looks like you might try to reconcile with someone to try to fix something then that doesn't mean that it, that will work out it's too it's not far enough for me to see but you might give that other person another shot just even if it's just to get get closure or to finally leave it once and for all and then accept a new offer you might do that some of you might decide not to reconcile and that would be your will um, that's not showing up here in the cards. That would be your decision to just push that person away. Okay. Um, I hate when they're like, oh, this relationship. Well, we're talking about two relationships. So which one is it? Which relationship can stand the test of time? Inquiring minds want to know, spirit. So we're going to ask, is it the fire or is it the water? Let Virgo know. It's the fire. Yeah. It's the fire. Oh, wait a minute. This is the five of wands. Hold on a minute. That's contention. Oh, gosh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Okay, for some of you, it's the one who's 57 years of age. They just said that, or is born in 57. Okay. Now, you've got the, you, <laughs> seriously, or someone who was born in 75, but you've got the five of wands, which is uncertainty and contention and confrontation and conflict. And then you've got the seven of cups. So you've got fire and water. And the seven of cups is fantasy. And they're not going to tell me. Oh, okay. It's the water sign. There's the Queen of Cups. You started with the Queen of Cups and ending with the Queen of Cups. So, you know, and of course, like, uh, seriously, I think Spirit likes to play tricks. And now here's the King of Wands. Virgo, this message, the strongest message I'm picking up here for you is you're going to have to go find out. You're going to have to go F around and find out because you need to know. I guess someone here that I'm speaking to needs to know needs to get confirmation by actually getting into the ring and finding out because I feel like every time I try to ask spirits like okay no this way no that way let me see what your love messages are oh wow so you've got engagement I'm telling you I feel like oh geez well let's put it this way I do feel like this fire sign is going to move things along pretty quickly. And if that's something that you want, that's what's going to happen. At least before the end of the year. Okay. As far as talking and then four months and then you'll be engaged. That's going to go quick. Okay. You also have finances. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. Hmm. Some of you might decide to marry for money. And, you know, I'm not calling anybody out. It might not be anybody in the chat. It might just be someone here is listening, you know, covertly and not revealing themselves. You've got let your friends help you. You also, oh yeah, with a past, let your friends help you give a relation, give a past life relationship a chance. Okay. Holy, there's so many messages. Oh my gosh. So um, as far as a past life relationship goes, you're not going to be able to do that alone. I'm just hearing if you're going to do something with a past person, there's got to be some little bit of guidance and help um, that's going to be needed for that past relationship to work out. I'm going to tell you that right now. This new person is fresh, so fresh and so clean. They like the way you move. They, they, they like the way you move. <laughs> Why do I sound like a, such a white person? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you move. I like the way you move. So fresh and so clean. So, all right, let me stop. So the new person is going to be like, boom, boom, boom. It's it's fresh. It's new. There's no baggage. There's no issues. I want to marry you. Let's, let's confirm it. Will you marry me? You know, the whole nine yards. Okay, I don't care where. We can do it here. We can do it there. I just want to be with you. The past, the past is kind of really doesn't want to let you go wants to give it another try you know so there was it, it's a tough call because just because you have history with someone doesn't mean you should be together i know that's a fact right just because you have history just because you know each other you know i'm not telling you what to do i feel like if you're going to make a decision you're going to need some friends to maybe talk to ask for some support about that only because it looks like something happened i feel like it came to an abrupt stop like um, almost along the lines of like shocking or abandonment, that kind of stuff. Yes, that's what I feel like is going on here. So, you know, Virgo, no sweat, nothing to lose. You have a new opportunity coming in for you. And if you don't want to go to the past, the reading's still worthwhile, right? Because you always have, you've got a new start with someone. So it's up to you. You've got the snake. You have year of the dog. You have year of the rat. Snake again. Year of the Tiger, Year of the Rabbit, here's the rat again, you have the goat, you have the ox, and the rooster, okay? So that could be you, could be your person, could be both, could be none, take it with a grain of salt. All right, let's try and get some other messages here. Maybe some names or, okay, 1987. 
Okay, March 1972. Okay, you have the letter H, you have the letter T, uh, September 6th, somebody's birthday, September 3rd. What is going on here? Oh, does somebody like frogs? Okay, so we've got a toad. Like toad the wet sprocket here. There's something here to do with a frog. Significant for someone. A little froggy. You also have a butterfly and a starfish. Okay, the starfish does represent something down by the sea. So there is uh, something about a starfish. I'm also hearing someone um, spinning, playing some kind of spinning game to win a prize. <clears throat> Somebody won a prize. Um, you had butterfly yesterday. I feel like that message is still the same. Um, this someone here has either a star. It could be on their body or it is something to do with stars are significant. It means something to you as well as the butterfly. Significant it means uh, this is definitely a transformation and growth. And I have a st another, now you've got two stars. You've got a star with a fairy. Okay, fairy. Disney vibes there. Tinkerbell vibes there so maybe disney represents something for someone very significant let me see what else you have here i don't know why these are in here um okay you have the this is a w okay somebody enjoys a good pint now and then i'm hearing someone likes to have a pint a pint of something Okay, we have the letter K and the letter A. So I'm hearing what? I'm also picking up the name Mark or Marcus or Mark. <clears throat> or um, also, or Mary Kay. You remember Mary Kay? Or just Mary? Um, somebody, uh, okay. Somebody likes ska, S-K-A, ska, ska music. Um, also, I'm hearing, well, I'm not hearing, I'm seeing whiskers. <laughs> I'm seeing whiskers, like I guess from a cat, maybe a rabbit. I don't know, what, what other animal has whiskers? Uh, last name, Shaw, S-H-A-W, Shaw. Um, somebody is drinking a milkshake. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just heard awkward. Awk. So awk. Awkward. Okay. Someone has an ankle bracelet. Oh, they're also giving the name Hank. Um, we have the name Pan. P A N. P A K. You have. Uh, Sarah, I'm hearing. I'm also hearing Shay, S H A Y. Um, somebody's taking a nap, or just woke up from a nap. They're going to take a nap. Oh, they're giving me December. December is going to be significant, also. Something also happened in December of 1988 that was very significant. If you can remember back that far, maybe you graduated high school, 87 or 88, not in December, obviously, um, or college. Okay. Uh, somebody's opening a jar or just opened a jar. Oh, AJ. Hello, AJ. And I'm hearing Jack. Jack or Jackie, Jacqueline. Um, someone's taking um, hormone replacement therapy also. Okay, let me see if I can get some numbers, other numbers here, like birthdays or birth dates. 1966, someone's turning 56. Someone's 33. Uh, someone born in 77. 
Okay. Let's try. Okay. 1961, September 4th. Someone's 59. Someone's born in 71. Hmm. August 24th. Someone's 53. I love the way you move. That's so 2000s. Okay, the letter F. We have Frank. I just heard Frank. I just heard September 18th, September 15th, September 19th. Birth dates, December 25th. That's Christmas. Significant. It's going to be f oh, very, very. Some of you are going to get proposed to on December 25th. It just said. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, wow. Are you guys, so listen, if something is significant to you that stands out in the reading that you fear you're going to forget, all you have to do is hit the save button underneath the video and that will save it to your watched or watch later. Or if you have a playlist that's private, you know, anyone else to see it, you can save it there. You can make, you can make a note of it. You can put a comment underneath it if you need to remind yourself. But if there's anything that ever sticks out, you can save, I think you can even download the videos on YouTube as well. I don't know where they download to. I've never actually done it, but I've seen it where you can download it. So, because I do videos every single day, right? Just about. So sometimes things resonate and then you get on to the next video and the next reading and then you forget what was said or what video it was. So I just want to give you that little message to do that for yourself that you can always do that or you can leave a comment, but I don't know if you can look up your comments. All right, so that's the message. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I want to give a shout out to, um, hold on, somebody's getting a shout out. I'm going to tell you who in just a minute. If you guys um, buy me a cup of coffee, if you donate to my coffee fund, I will give you a shout out. If I could freaking log in. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Julie, thank you for the coffee. It looks like Julie's, Julie's chow. But Julie, thank you for the coffee. Daphne bought me a coffee. Thank you, Jason. We also have someone, <clears throat> the name someone. I don't, they didn't leave a name. Natasha, Rhonda, someone, 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 someone's buying me like a ton of coffees and not leaving their name. So I just want to say thank you, you guys. I try to leave a thank you comment, but if you donate, if you want to donate for a cup of coffee to me, um, I'll give you a shout out here on my channel. And also, um, there's a couple of birthdays that I also want to give shout outs to. For those of you that I received some messages that you had a birthday, and that would be, let's see, today is September 6th, so we have, so I missed some birthdays, Porus's birthday, Bella's birthday, happy birthday, let's see. No one's birthday is today that, is, that I've been given, um, but September 7th will be Lala. Happy birthday. Um, we had Sarah, Jason, and Terry, September 4th. Happy birthday. Scarlett was September 5th. Happy birthday. Troy was September 13th. Is September 13th. Happy birthday. And I'll get to you guys when we get closer to your dates. And I think that that, anybody else I missed? Um, nope, I think that's it. So if you have a birthday, you can pop in the chat and just let Persephone know, the moderator, and she sends me the information and I will give you a shout out in the video. Wish you a happy birthday. All right, you guys. So I'm going to get going. I'll see you all back here. My goodness, tomorrow for your weekend reading. All right, you guys. So have a fantastic night. Be good. Love yourselves. Love each other. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.